I was talking to the guy who usually is at the counter at uh, Pink Gorilla about a month ago about this game, and he said he, he played this as a kid, and because it's so different from you know, any other game he had played at the time, mm -hmm. he didn't realize that once you got past the bridge, like that there was more game. He thought <laughs> that that was the game over, and I can't blame him. Mm -hmm. Like you could easily, like as a kid, that probably would have taken me two, three hours yeah. just to figure out what this game is and beat Garland. And even though it says like, oh, there's like eight levels of magic and all that, as a kid, I wouldn't have thought that tells me there's a lot more stuff here. Yeah. I just would have thought this is it. Or even as a kid, if you weren't like saving, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. if that wasn't a concept yeah. to you, so every you time you start it's like you over. Gar it's like you, you, you think like Garland's the end, so it's like you, you beat him and then you get that little bit and you're like, yay, turn it off. Or yeah, you don't, like when I got my PlayStation back into uh, 1997, and didn't have a memory card because oh. we didn't realize memory cards oh. were going to be a thing. Yeah. And <laughs> get th get this audience. I didn't have a memory card, but my first game was Final Fantasy VII. I was there for that. You motherfuckers don't know how many times I've played my way through Midgar. I remember very, very specifically your brothers coming <laughs> running in and tripping over the power oh, sure. cable. Yeah. And just right after we found like, the no. fire material. Yeah. yeah. Just like, no. Yeah. <laughs> that lizard is. A uh, fucked up lizard, it, man. Yeah, it is. Like, so here's the, here's the here's the great frustration of this game. Look how much damage the rest of my party is doing compared to my warrior. Yeah. Right? And that is consistent for the entire game. Right up until the end, where finally uh, the, the black... The monk becomes black belt? Or master, whatever his, his final class is. And then you run into this shit, where there are seven enemies... And it, it takes me like one round to kill one. You don't know how many times I did a soft reset just because I would... <laughs> I, I cut out nearly all of them, but what I was constantly doing throughout this game was a quick save. Because fortunately, thank God, they included that in uh, this remake. And if I ran into a bad encounter like this, I would just soft reset it. And go, no, I'm not wasting my time with... Because the, the rewards for combat are also very skewed. To the point where you might fight seven enemies and get the same rewards that you get for fighting three of those same enemies. <laughs> like I, I did run into a particular encounter where I had, let's say, an ogre. Yeah. Right? It's like this this encounter has an ogre and two wolves. I fought that and I got, let's say, one hundred experience points and like one hundred gold. And then another encounter where it's just the ogre, and I get like hundred and twenty experience, hundred and twenty gold, and I go, what? It's not just it's, just it's not, not just a sum yeah. of the, like someone was going through and assigning specific experience amounts to each encounter, but not thinking that they should at least equal what the individual yeah. components would reward. I wonder when they were making this game because I'm not familiar with Dungeons and Dragons. Like mm -hmm. I'm assuming the dungeon master decides when you fight, which is kind of like they, a random encounter. I a guess. little bit. They they would yeah the the dungeon master would um well they will uh. Base, it depends on how they do it. Uh, sometimes they can just do it at random if they want. Uh, but often a, a really dedicated dungeon master will design the yeah. entire... Like you would do with this. Except you wouldn't have random encounters. They would know, like, okay, <laughs> crazy Riggs. Horse. Yeah. Riggs are the worst. I think I left that battle in there just so you could see the crazy horse. And the fact that I ran away because it was just too difficult of a fight. They're and it wasn't going to be worth unicorns. it. unicorns. <laughs> yeah, I know. But, um... Yeah, a dungeon master would design a whole dungeon and say, okay, there's an encounter here and here and here. And then, yeah, you would get to the end and there might be a boss. And then you'd fight. The, and then this place is filled with pirates. It makes you wonder, like, I wonder what their thought was, like, do, like to go from random to scripted battles or anything. Mm -hmm. Riggs, you're seriously, like, I don't know why you're farming so bad. <laughs> but it's pretty bad. Now, look how much this level two spells cost. Look how much gold or gil oh, yeah. I've acquired in the from let's see I think I don't think I bought anything after that initial shopping spree. Yeah, this is all after the, the first yeah, like, from that, boss fight. Basically, from that, yeah, no, traveling. not even from my entire leveling after I bought stuff in uh, Cornelia to now. Jeez, I've acquired that much gil, and that ex the the curve of how much gil you experience is incredibly um, busted. 
Yeah. As well. There's not a smooth curve throughout the game, basically. Like, later on, I'll be swimming in guilt to the yeah. point where I have way more than I'll ever need. Uh, but, isn't that how it is, though, right? Isn't basically, that life? The di yeah, basically. <laughs> the, the, the difficulty curve of this game, it it's always difficult because they're always kicking you in the fucking nuts. Mm -hmm. But it is definitely, it starts way up high and then <laughs> very gradually it decreases and then it fucking craters. Yeah. <laughs> and then the last dungeon, it rockets back up. Jeez. But once you once I like you that get little to, we just yeah. slept in. Oh yeah. <laughs> we're, we're full of vim and energy. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. <laughs> but like you get a ton of money in this game mm. and by that point people are like offering to buy you potions and stuff. Basically. Like can I get that for you? Oh, so speaking cool. of potions, there is only potions. So there's no high potion. There's no high like... potion, X potion, elixir, none of that. There's just and look how much the fucking equipment costs. Like, I can't afford an upgrade without just punching goblins in the face for hours. Imagine if this game also had you, like, repair your weapons. Oh, God. Look at that other party up there. Oh, like, this part. They think yeah. they're gonna go do something? <laughs> well, they are gonna do something a little bit. <laughs> okay, how much is armor? Oh, no. Steel plate, 800 gil. How does um, it go from 80 to 800? I... Again, the... the, the the problem you're going to see with this in Final Fantasy 2 is they just didn't know how to balance these games yet. Which, I, I can't blame them. No one literally had the experience to, yeah. to do it. And maybe, yeah, if you had played it for a while and figured it out, you could be like, this doesn't... I don't know, this feels... Does this feel too difficult? But at the same time, this was the, the NES era where you know, a Mar Mario 1 is hard, but mm -hmm. if you know how to do it, you can beat it in 29 minutes. Yeah. Right? And so if you look at a game like this, oh yeah, then I go and talk to the pirates. Say, I don't think you know who you're talking to. <laughs> I think he wants me to teach me how to respect the great pirate Bicky. Or Bic. Bike. Hey, I'm trying to save the world you live in. The seas you <laughs> sail in, dude. Which you can't currently... I know, right? <laughs> the seas you can't currently sail. Whoa, that's way more pirates than there were before. Yeah, that's a lot of pirates. Fortunately, they're actually very, very weak. They give you, they throw you a little bit of a bone sometimes, but not often. Not often. Come on, Tom. Got that fog. And, well, actually, I hit four of them. Fog just gives them cool sunglasses? Yeah. That doesn't seem so bad. <laughs> it's harder to see, but I look fucking radical. <laughs> it lowers my intelligence, but... <laughs> what the hell? Why do the sunglasses lower a helicopter's intelligence? <laughs> Is it because he's wearing sunglasses inside a castle, often underground at night? Yeah. And he's a vampire. Vampire, so he like, wouldn't be exposed to the sun anyway. So it's just ridiculous. I was just yeah. thinking that. And then he just apologizes and promises not to do no bad. And then he gives you a ship. That's that's, that's how you get a pirate <laughs> ship, I guess. Yeah. You get the obtained ship. Right you away, you get your ship. beat their ass, and they go, oh. Yeah. And unlike later Final Fantasies, this one and two, as you'll see in a while, um, they're very, very open. Like you, you're, you, you get modes of transportation very early, and there's little stopping you from exploring a good chunk of the world. There, there are mountain ranges. Mm -hmm. and in this case, there's, um, there's a, a strip of land that prevents this inner sea that you're in from connecting to the ocean, so you can't go out and explore the greater world yet. But you can uh, just go fuck around, and there's there's some guidance as to where to, to go next. But you only get that if you walk around and you actually talk to people. Mm. And they'll mention something like that. That lady I talked to she said like, "Oh, there's a kingdom of elves to the south." Uh, okay. She doesn't tell you that's where you need to go. It's just she says that, and then I headed south and make my way over to the to the elven kingdom, but, and then that, yeah, you. Yeah, I did a little more leveling on the side as well. So there is, this isn't like the Legend of Zelda, you have to go in order of like where you're going to go first and second, third, you, as you far do, as dungeons and stuff. Um, you might be able to tackle them in a, a, a slightly out of order. I think the last two, there, there actually aren't very many. There's only, there are the four major dungeons mm -hmm. for each elemental crystal. There's the final dungeon, um, and there are a couple of side dungeons early on. I don't think there are more than ten altogether, I'd say. Uh, I think the the early ones, you do need to tackle in order. Because, order. God, I wish I could pronounce these. Uh, because basically they, they lead you to your next mode of transportation or your ability to, like I said, connect to the outer ocean 
from the inner sea. And let's see how much this equipment costs now. I'm pretty sure Elfheim is the Fuck. name of the... Oh my god. Four grand. Yeah. For a mithril sword. Uh -huh. I mean, I get it. Like, yeah. you know, leather doesn't cost shit. Uh -huh. And then you get, like, And mithril iron, is one of those yeah. legendary metals. But holy shit. Like, yeah. do they not understand... Look how much understand? gear I have. Do they not understand, like, people won't buy it? They're like, no, man, it's supply and demand. Uh -huh. We only carry one. <laughs> and we just, we just tweet and yeah. blog about uh -huh. how exclusive it is. And, and if people, someone buys it, great. People, Otherwise, yeah, they take a trip to Elfheim. Uh, and these, this is how much the next level of spells cost. I can't Jeez. even upgrade my offensive ability. I started to think that I had made a mistake in my party composition. It's like I should probably have just made three warriors and a white mage for some token healing. I feel like Elfheim is the name of the place in Sword Art Online. I, I think it is. Where you want to fuck yeah. your cousin. I, I, I believe it is, and I think Elfheim is literally... Is one of those names? I think it's also where the elves live in Norse mythology. It's just a common name that pops up. Yeah, people, it gets used a lot. People can't come up with anything better. Nope. <laughs> nope. They, they just keep going to the Norse mythology well, which yeah. frankly is a good well to draw from. Yeah. Okay, I get copper is worth a lot. Like, people mm -hmm. go into buildings and cut that shit out to oh, sell it. Oh, definitely, yeah. <laughs> but an armband, like, costing mm -hmm. that much? Like, shit, who made it? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> This is what I want. In see, it did it right there. Gave him nunchucks, even though they had a lower attack I see. than his bare fists, than his mitts. I want the I want in Final Fantasy the characters who yeah blog about uh -huh. how great these items are, and then yeah. everyone's like, oh my god, I gotta get that. Oh, I gotta get that's the I, saw I gotta it get on myself Insta a Mazamune. I saw it on Instagram. It mm -hmm. was, this girl looked real cute, and I'm gonna wear it. And look oh, cute too. And, and you know how in later Final Fantasies you just have like tent. Yeah. In this one, you have sleeping bag, tent, and cottage. What the fuck is the difference? Sleeping bag restores a little bit of health. Tent restores quite a bit of health. Cottage restores all your health. And, this is the important part, your spell casts. Oh, because right? you only get so many casts per Ex level. Yeah, exactly. And, and, and so you might invest in a cottage, fight your way to the dungeon, save outside, use a cottage to restore... Look how... Yeah, level... You can also buy level 4 spells in here, and they cost 4,000 each. Up from the 1200, I think, the level 3 spells were? Mm hmm Jesus Christ. I I don't think I actually buy those spells until the late game. When they're finally just pouring money on me. So all those, the sleeping bag, tent, and cottage, are those only available to use outside or on a yeah, save point? Yeah, there are anything? no save points. Oh, okay, that's right. You yeah. can only save, I, that's another thing, you can only save by resting at an inn. Oh, wow. That's it. Three people died here. Yep. <laughs> no well, they're name. elves, I guess. No Those fuckers don't die, right? Yeah, Link, rest in peace. <laughs> Link? Yeah, elves are either immortal or they just live a long time, depending on your particular fiction. I guess that was... I mean, it makes sense that Link would die at some point, because there are so many of them, There right? eventually has to be another hero, yeah. <laughs> I like to think that that's why... This would have been a Zelda game, uh -huh. but Link died there. <laughs> and so these guys had to come uh -huh. up before a new Link was born. Yeah. So that guy gave me a, another story hint. He's like, no one knows where Astos, the King of the Dark Elves, is. Mm. And that was just the city where I wanted to go get upgrades, but realized I couldn't afford anything. Much like real life. <laughs> hey, I should get yeah. some better clothes. Oh, go, wait. <laughs> yeah. Let's go to the city and go shopping today. Like, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm happy I'm finally at a point in my life where I can at least afford to shop at fucking Kohl's. Yeah. Right? The, the mid-level, middle-class clothing store. Mm. Kohl's, of all places. Well, you probably get in on some fucking Old Navy, right? Maybe. Oh, Old, Old Navy is the lower middle lower class. Than that? Yeah, yeah. Lower than that. Kohl's is where you go when it's like, I can afford $40 pants now. <laughs> you know? Man, that's where I'm at. I'm at that $40 yeah. pant range. Well, that's why I, that's why I bought last night. It was a pair of $40 Dockers, I, actually. I, I honestly... This place looks like a Dockers commercial. <laughs> that's what you gotta... First you get the ca jobs. First you get, first you get the jobs. Then, then you, you get, get the, the khakis. khakis. Then you get the women. Yeah. Which I didn't learn until years later is actually a Scarface reference. Really? He says, like, first you get the money, then you get the power, then you get the women. Okay. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> There's so many movies that I just need to watch again uh -huh. to get the references. Oh, sure. And, and I had mentioned to you that um, so, Roadhouse was the last movie that I watched. I need it, to watch that because I'm sure I'll get a lot. It, it, un it will unlock. It's like... It, it's like unlocking a level or like, oh, it, you've unlocked this many references in your life now because uh, you've watched Roadhouse yeah. finally. This is a fairly short episode. It's mostly just dicking around and figuring out where to go next. Basically, the Elven Prince is has been in a, a coma for like five years 